far, far away, there lived a green ogre named Shrek. He lived far away near a stinky swamp where no one ever came to visit. Shrek spent his days alone, which was just the way he liked it. One afternoon in the forest, a beast named Donkey bumped right into Shrek. The donkey started to talk and talk and talk. All of a sudden, a whole group of fairy tale strangers showed up. What are you doing in my swamp? cried Shrek. Shrek enjoyed his privacy and was quite annoyed with all the fairy tale creatures and Donkey. I didn't invite them, Donkey said. Lord Farquaad, ruler of Deluc, had chased all the fairy tale creatures from his kingdom. Shrek started out to give Lord Farquaad a piece of his mind. Donkey tagged along. Aww. Meanwhile, Lord Farquaad was planning to marry the beautiful Princess Fiona. He had to hold a grand tournament to find a champion to rescue her from her tower. <laughs> when Shrek arrived at the tournament, the Lord ordered his knights to fight Shrek instead. But they were no match for Shrek. Lord Farquaad was very impressed, and Shrek could have his quiet swamp back if he rescued the beautiful Princess Fiona from her tower. Oh. Donkey did not like the idea one bit, but Shrek was determined to rescue the princess and get his quiet life back. So, they began their journey across the smoky fields, and soon they were in a dark castle with a fire-breathing dragon. Shrek managed to find Princess Fiona while Donkey distracted the fire-breathing dragon. As they ran through the forest, Princess Fiona learned that Shrek really wanted his stinky swamp and quiet life, and he really did not care about saving her. Surprisingly, Shrek and Princess Fiona were a lot alike. And along the way home, they began to enjoy each other's company. Princess Fiona thought to herself that Shrek could not possibly feel the same way about her that she was feeling about him. So she continued on to marry Lord Farquaad. Shrek stomped off to his stinky swamp. He was quite sad and alone. Donkey saw how sad Shrek was, and he convinced Shrek he had to go tell Princess Fiona how he felt before she married Lord Farquaad. Meanwhile, Princess Fiona had a secret that would be revealed to the entire kingdom if the sun set before she received love's true kiss. When Shrek arrived, she was bathed in a dazzling light. Then the light started to fade. As the light faded, Princess Fiona transformed into a beautiful green female ogre. Lord Farquaad oh. was horrified, but Shrek had never been happier. When Princess Fiona kissed Shrek, she wondered if she would be transformed back into the old dazzling princess. But she remained a green female ogre. Oh dear, I am supposed to be beautiful, said Fiona. But you are beautiful, said Shrek. They were in love. <laughs> On his quest to protect his privacy, Shrek found true love and friendship instead. On the day of their wedding, the swamp overflowed with all their wonderful fairy tale friends. On the day of their wedding, the swamp overflowed with all of their wonderful friends and fairy tale creatures. The Gingerbread Man, Puss in Boots, the Three Blind Mice, even Lord Farquaad and his knights came to celebrate the marriage of Shrek to his beautiful bride, Princess Fiona. 
Donkey was so excited, he found it hard to be quiet while Shrek and Princess Fiona took their wedding vows. But he managed to control his excitement. Shrek and Princess Fiona were married in their beautiful stinky swamp and lived happily ever after.